Hello guys, this is Hexagon Zero, and welcome to the first recording session of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Alrighty then. Wow, that was a very powerful radio announcer voice. I managed to pull out of nowhere there. It's like I've been doing this for two years. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, here we are on Revelations. Um, it's been reported other than... I really wanted to play Brotherhood because, well, I wanted to, and it looked really interesting, but my friend who's very into Assassin's Creed... Um, his favorite was Revelations, at, up until... No, his favorite still is Reve Revelations, I believe, so, um... Yeah, I wanted to do this one next, as it sounded a lot like fun. And now I've gone through it in a test environment. I always do a test, just to make sure that, um, everything works. And interesting little thing I had to do here... I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, because Fraps doesn't allow me to record it, but... I, it, Assassin's Creed Revelation says frame stuttering, and it is an FPS drop frame stuttering. Right now you can't see it, but up in the corner I'm running at 89 frames per second. And yes, it is in the menu, menu, and Ubisoft does a little trick with the menu, at least in their older Assassin's Creed games, where it it's actually running at a lower resolution. At least that's what, I've, that's what I think it's doing, because I don't have any other explanation. Because everything's bigger and my DPI doesn't change, but my mouse movement does. So that's a little weird, but... What I had to do was I had to minimize the program while it's running, go into Task Manager, right-click on the process, go to Set Affinity, and turn off Core 2 and Core 3. What this does is it forces one core to do all of the work. This is actually good! And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, head on over to NCIX's thing, search processors, and something about cores, I don't know, you might have to go through a couple. They're all interesting, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, but it's actually better for one quarter, one one process, rather than having to do multi-threading. Uh, because multi-threading produces problems, and damn, the Revelations music sounds awesome. I'd just like to point that out. Anyway, let's get into it. Session number one. Do we go he the Hexagon Zero, Hex Zero, Hex, Hex, uh, let's just call it Hex. I always call it Hex. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. Doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair. A stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the Apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented and falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. I don't care what it was designed to do. I only care about what it can do. <laughs> What's happening? I can't move! I... I can't... No! 
Loving the new hoodie. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Ugh. Hello? Like, seriously, dude. What happened to your face? Yikes. The controls are exactly the same as... Whoa, we got frame tearing. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Yeah, I don't like the frame tearing. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original tech. This is something I never do, but frame tearing never presents itself usually. So I'm just walk with me. What is this place? It's nice. Okay. Isn't it? We're in the it guts crashed. of the animus. The original. We test might have program. to deal with the ver the the tearing physics until weather um, simulations. Hello, I can world. Figure out. You're lucky way. someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. It saved it from what? Too. Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if Yay. you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. Well, that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. Literally. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh, I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Looks like he got Botox. Um, I'm noticing the vertical it's tear. Sean. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you? Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway? Giving in? That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No, not Desmond. Right. You would say that. Sean. How much is the first one? Uh, it's data fragments. 
That's what I've been doing in Assassin's Creed 4. This looks important. This looks even more important. You can really notice it when you're moving. Hopefully it's only on the bottom part of the screen. I gotta find a way to fix this. V-Sync just crashes the program. It's the core thing. This didn't happen when I had the core other cores active. They're virtual cores, so it doesn't really matter, but still. It's near the bottom, so my graphics card is doing most of the brunt work, but I gotta kick it up somehow. Oh, well, I just want to get some episodes out first, so let's do this! By the way, this title crawl is insanely long. It lists every single Ubisoft studio that ever went into putting an effort into Revelations. one word that keeps getting repeated, you'll, you'll notice it, it's quite common. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. That was a pretty good so what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired. But because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or avenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. I'm the Hexagon Zero, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, vertical tearing aside, this game does bloody awesome. 